um, I literally have only started doing home. Like, I have read a page and I figured out that there are 24 slash 5 pages for me to read. So, good luck to me. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to get it all done. I think the main goal is read through the lectures that I actually went to. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what time it is. Let's have a look. Uh, it's half past ten. Oh. To be fair, he can't... I don't think he can just sit there and be like, explain everything to me without, like, giving some context anyway. Like, I don't need to remember everything as such, I don't think. Um, and, like, I'll just tell him that I don't know. Because I wasn't there. And that's just... That's, that's that. Are we surprised? It's 20 past one. I'm still on the same lecture that I was about two hours ago. Um, in all fairness, I, I have like a page left. So yeah, it's not going that badly, but it's 20 past one. I'm supposed to be up in like five and a bit hours, so that's brilliant we'll see how set she goes tomorrow but I honestly I've just got to like pause myself out of bed because if I start messing up this calendar plan my word is it gonna get annoying for me because like no I spent too long on this to mess it up hey guys so it is the morning just it's 11 I okay no I didn't wake up at 11 um, I was a good bean, sort of. Um, in all honesty, I wanted to get up at seven and I got up at like quarter to eight, but do you know what? I got out of bed, so that is the main thing. Um, so yeah, honestly, I don't know where the time went. I was like, yeah, I'll get up now. It's probably around like seven, ten-ish. And then I looked at my phone and it was like 7.30 and I was like, mm. um, But this morning I had occupational health at nine, which is why I had to skedaddle um to an appointment so that's probably the only reason why i actually got up but i did some sechi this morning so i read like the prologue this morning made some notes and then when i came back i read the rest like the next chapter and made notes and that is that sechi stuff done um so now it is 11.04 i need to hurry up basically i'm pre-reading for my MIMS lecture, looking at the PowerPoint, there seems to be a lot of stuff that is not in um, the handout, so pre-reading is more important than ever. Um, honestly, like, it just annoys me so much. Why would you not put everything in the same place? Like, just make me a nice big handout that has everything in it, and then I'm fine. Like, HOM is really decent at that I guess at the moment but they don't have lecture slides anyway but that's not the point um but this stuff like the amount of stuff that I have to write in it just takes too long and you can't do it in the lecture so like you have to do it after whatever um basically I caught my friend at the end of the lecture yeah, we went to Costa. So basically, I got back at like three. Didn't start doing work till four because I've been stressing about a situation that occurred. Um, I'm just going through this dissection manual as fast as I can, pretty much. Um, just trying to like get some knowledge into my brain because I honestly just don't understand this. It's too complicated. A lot of complicated stuff. Um, and I fear that everyone is gonna have already done this because he had chats with everyone when getting their mocks back. Obviously, I wasn't there, and my friend was like, um, the supervisor was telling her to like, you know, plan her weekend out. And he sent us like emails of stuff that we can do before each dissection session, stuff to do after the dissection session. I was like, oh no. Um, so basically. I, like, I haven't done that because I was ill and then I had to, ca like, I have to catch up on everything I miss, so I haven't gotten round to anatomy, um, and now I'm just really 
scared <laughs> for this super and I'm also getting my mock back and I don't necessarily want that back because honestly like I just got so flustered all of like these pictures were just pictures <laughs> like they're just pictures <laughs> they're not they mean nothing to me like I can't I don't know what a nerve supplies what must like I <laughs> yeah um it was just like even stuff I knew in that mock I didn't get because I was so like flustered and um like it just took me too long to figure it out if you get me um and the essay I hadn't revised any embryology um over the holidays so I couldn't write the embryology essay but like it was about the heart and if like if you revised the heart embryology you would be able to write that essay fine like it was a fact essay like you can't not get the facts right if you've revised it but I hadn't so I had to do the diagnose this woman essay um and it didn't go well <laughs> so I really don't want that mark back I feel like it's gonna make me sad but pre-reading for mims currently none of it's going in I don't really care about what I'm reading at this point so I have to pre-read Hom which honestly I don't know if I'm gonna do because Whilst it would be a good idea, I just don't quite have the time right now to do that. So I think I might not. You know, it, it's an achievement if I get to the lecture tomorrow. Let's just put it that way. Um, and I think I might, I might read through the home lecture that I was supposed to read tomorrow before the supo, which means that tomorrow I can properly post read the home lecture that we were supposed to like that I was supposed to have pre-read but I can like properly post read it if you get me um I've also got to by post read what I mean is so when I pre-read apparently now um I basically go through the handout highlight key points basically any word that I think is like if I was skimming through this document I would want to see um and then when I post read the lecture, basically it goes into something that looks a bit like what you find. So for example, this, I don't know if you can see that or whatever, but basically I just add annotations from the lecture slides, stuff that's not in the handout, which I don't get why it's not there, but um, yeah. And then I also will, ow. Um, like add in stuff that I've annotated on the slides whilst he was talking like in the lecture because I don't want to annotate this in case like I really screw something up in the lecture and then like basically I have to tip x half the stuff out and it's just a big fat mess so basically I just post reading is basically just annotating everything on I still have to do that for today's MIMS lecture tomorrow as well as tomorrow's MIMS lecture tomorrow if you get me unless I do it today but I don't think so because um I didn't do that so fantastic you may not be surprised to learn that yesterday my friend came over she was upset so like obviously I was like come to my room um and we were up till 2 30 and I had to be up at half six so you work the maths out basically I'm sleep deprived again honestly I was so delirious I couldn't like count what time I had to wake up or like get up to be ready by seven by and I couldn't like it was just it's not a good morning and I'm so tired I don't want to be doing this and honestly like I feel like I like rowing but this is just not it like to go and go on the rowing machines in the morning at the crack of dawn is really not what I had in mind for today but here I am So 
so I have very little storage on my phone. But basically I'm walking back from my lecture and I told myself that I'd go to the library by um, the lecture hall uh, to save me having to walk all the way back and then walk back there for the next lecture at 12. But I'm so cold and I'm so hungry and I can't last two hours without food. Um, and like in that lecture, I was just sat there, slowly freezing to death. Um, so that's fun. Tomorrow I have rowing in the morning, like an actual outing this time, thank God. Um, and then, although I don't know if it's going to happen because it's literally like snowing outside. So who knows? But um, then I've got a fab lecture which I don't know if I'm going to go to because it depends what time rowing finishes, like whether I'm actually going to make it on time. If not, I'm bringing some notes with me to read in the library um, so that like I'm not wasting my time in Starbucks doing nothing. Um, and then after that, I have a home practical and that is pretty much it for tomorrow. And then when I get back, fun times so I've got lots of stuff to do I have to write my essay so yeah I haven't logged anything today oh my god I do not feel good um basically today what is it Wednesday it was Wednesday um I basically had no it was Thursday oh geez um I had a men's lecture which I didn't go to because I was honestly so tired because I stayed up till about 3 a.m writing my men's essay. Then I had dissection, home lecture which I didn't go to again for some reason, I don't know why, not a good idea. Um, then I had searchy seminar and then men's supo and I was supposed to do work after that but I went to, well I did do some work actually to be fair in my defence. Then we went to Sainsbury's and then I got ready to go out because I went out. Was it a good idea? No. Um, I had too much alcohol, for sure, and like, honestly, like, I just feel a bit numb. So, yeah, tomorrow's gonna be fun. I have a 9am. We went to Pembroke for pre's at the friends who is currently probably still in Lola's, um, friends room thing. Um, it was actually really cool like being inside that college because I was actually going to apply there until I realised how few places there were for medicine and then I was like, mm, nah. Um, but yeah, I think it's quite cool, I guess. Um, and overall, like, I thought it was, it was an alright night, like, it could have been better. I definitely think if we had, like, preed in Claire, it probably would have been better. Um, just because it was just a bit awkward at Pembroke, just because we didn't literally didn't know anyone. Um, and I like the music at Lola's, okay? The music at Lola's is like, it's not even really cheesy, like it's just pop music. Whereas um, Cindy's is a lot of like hip hop R&B on the nights that are really popular, so that's really not my thing. Um, but my friends clearly weren't feeling it, so... There's that. Hey, once again, I didn't film today. I'm now no longer drunk, so that's fun. Although I woke up this morning and I still felt not good. Like, it wasn't a hangover. I think I was just still drunk. So that was brilliant. Um, but here I am. It's now like half seven. Um, today I had a lecture that I didn't go to, obviously, because... Um, then I had Mims PBL, then that was only half an hour when it was scheduled for two hours, so went to the library um, and got some work done. Then I had a home lecture, which I went to, yay! Um, and after that, honestly, I can't remember what I did, like, I did a bit of work. Not enough, but... Um, and I actually, I don't know if I have the clip in this vlog, but college proposed today so I'm now college engaged to my friend Mariam she is honestly so lovely and yeah um it was like a whole process with cookies and icing so yeah oh, it's gonna be so cute <laughs> Mariam will you marry me yeah. <laughs> <It's so cute. laughs> hello <laughs>
ordered a absolute load. Hold on. <laughs> of Wagamama manners because I have like all I'd eaten up to like about six ish was tomato soup for lunch. So I'm hungry. Um so basically I'm just gonna sit here, eat that. I'm watching um Marvelous Mrs. Maisel. Honestly, it's so good. Like so good. I honestly have lost track of like where these vlogs are supposed to start and finish. So is this a new vlog? I don't know, probably not because I've hardly vlogged anything this week. So today is Saturday. Um it's twenty past ten, which is not good to be honest but i didn't go to sleep as early as i was supposed to like last night i did nothing yet went to sleep at like 11. why why i don't know um but yeah so it was a bit stupid on my part really i could have got so much sleep but oh well um this morning i woke up i got up at like nine ish not really um and i took a shower and have gotten myself ready i am in all black um basically have a rowing race today i was kind of secretly hoping that it would be cancelled because i just i have so much work to do and i'm not gonna get it all done this weekend and i just <laughs> oh it's gonna have to go on to next week not next weekend next week and i already don't really have that much time so still here same position still watching her vlog um it's only been like 20 minutes in all honesty um i don't know why i'm filming again but i have actually nearly finished this um this lecture so that's good then i've only got like two slides to add on to a lecture that i was like i put a little note saying add in like these two slides because apparently i couldn't be asked doing it before so now i'm all right but in the moment i was not all right like every time i do these things i'm just like i have no fitness like i need to start doing something and then i just don't um but it's why i look like a disheveled mess i've also like i'm covered in um river water so i need to get changed soon asap um but yeah now i've got an essay to write but the race was all right like it wasn't the best. I have an essay to write today that is due like today in the plodge, so gotta do that. Um and tonight I'm going to the boathouse to do some exercise with my friend, so yeah. Um I've also got to catch up on the Mims lecture that I missed last week for the new series because obviously we're starting like we've started that but i haven't been to the first lecture so i need to go over that to be able to go to the lecture tomorrow and like actually understand what's going on um i also need to pre-read for histology at some point today and i also have a mims essay which i was supposed to do this weekend but it's looking less and less likely that that's gonna happen because i have an essay to write today already <clears throat> my phone is charging which is why um I'm at this awful angle, hang on, yes, I can block the light with my head, um, let me scooch, um, basically it is 5 to 12, have I finished my essay? Nope, like, I'm nearly done, like, nearly is a bit of an overstatement, but like, two thirds of the way done um it is awful like i honestly just didn't know what to write like i don't know very much about the anatomy of the abdomen like i still need to go over that um and yeah basically yeah i just need to get it done like that's my one concern i'm gonna quickly finish it now the problem is that because it's so late i have to wait for my friend to be able to walk over to the plodge because like i just don't want to walk by myself at this time of night um even though it's just literally like across the road and then i'm in college again but um i have to wait for her and she about 20 minutes ago had not yet started her essay so 
Last night we went to hand our essays in, but I, I got back at like 2am, so, um, and that was not my fault, just to put that out there, but yeah, so I was not getting up this morning. Um, I ended up getting up like 9 o'clock, which is still okay, I guess. Um, it's a good job that I did though because the bedders came round and like I don't know where the usual person was but there were just like a lot of people shouting down the corridor so yeah that was a good job that I actually got up um, but so far I've just been doing like what is this oh anatomy notes um, I don't know whether to carry on or whether to just read. Basically, I have an anatomy supo today and I just don't know anything and I don't know what it's going to be about. And the thing is, I don't want to like, because last time I skim read like three sections, but realistically, we only went through like stuff from one of them. So I'm just like, do I go through all of them or do I just leave it? You know, I'd... I also found out that I have a home essay. A home essay. I literally didn't know about this until last night when my friend said, thank god she said, because I literally wouldn't have done it. Um, it was emailed round, but I, for some reason, I saw the email, just didn't see the essay title. Um, but now that's like completely ruined all my plans. Like, this is the problem. <sighs> because now, like, I have to put that in tonight. Um, and then I'm going to have to put my MIMS essay in tomorrow night. So basically all like the HOM reading that I was supposed to do for the lectures that are just finishing now, I'm not going to be able to do. Because I'm going to have to do an essay. So pretty much that poses a problem. Hey guys, so haven't spoken to you yet today. It's Tuesday. Um, this morning was not fun like honestly i went to sleep at like half 11 and i set my alarm for seven so like <sighs> um but yeah eventually i got up i actually made it to my mims lecture this morning my 9 a.m and then went to dissection it was weird too weird um and then i was supposed to go to home but Everyone was like, no, we're not going, so I didn't go. I have a supo in, like, an hour, so I'm just going to spend, like, 45 minutes reading. Um, still doing HOM, which is ridiculous, but, yeah, I need to get through as much of HOM as, like, oh, my God, there's so much of it. Okay. Oh, my Lord, there's still so much. <laughs> Okay, okay, I need to stop saying okay, 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 no. Um, this morning it's obviously a lot lighter because I'm just going to do an erg and I'm not actually going out on the river so our meet time is like half seven. But still, getting up this morning I was literally seriously considering just not going because obviously we don't all need to be there to do an erg. <sighs> I'm so tired. But today I've decided I know what I'm going to do depending on how quickly I'm, I do it, like determines how many things I have and then after that I'm going to bed early like by early I mean like eight o'clock would be good to be honest I'm glad it's not as cold because like I could actually just walk in this jumper and like this top underneath and it was like warm enough outside like yay but I'm back I actually went to the lecture I was a good person like I felt like I followed along and like I took down the annotations mostly but I still like couldn't explain to you how the urogenital system develops like no um but right now I like I have quite a packed schedule today I just want to get it done like I don't want any like waiting around going to meet people whatever like <coughs> I have the rest of the day to do all the stuff that I need to get done in, so yes. I got up at like half one, um, because obviously I went to sleep at like three last night and I'm just so tired, I keep forgetting to take my iron tablets. Um, and as you can tell, I've lost my voice. <laughs> Like, 
Like this isn't even that bad, it has been worse today, like about 20 minutes ago, literally I couldn't speak. So um, that's brilliant, I feel ill and I don't have time for this. So yes, I have so much to do today, which I haven't even started, but I'm hoping that because um, I woke up so late, it means that I can work later into the night, like it's just gonna have to be that way because tomorrow I have those to do as well. Although I'm thinking that I might have more time than I thought I would tomorrow because this is like the third day in a row, at least I think, that the flag um, for the like rowing river thing is yellow. Um, and that means that what is so unfair, basically it means that the first two boats of the men's cruise can go out and the first, only the first women's boat can, which is not fair at all hey guys so i'm walking to rowing i literally sound like a man i know but this is the only um <clears throat> pitch of my voice that can actually come out of my throat so here i am um it's wet um raining and just generally miserable at least it's not too cold like it's it's an okay temperature it is cold but compared to what we've had to row in previously this is really not too bad um thankfully i bought like brought not bought brought my waterproof like jacket thing um so maybe i won't get too wet but yeah this morning i was supposed to do sexy before i left did i no no i didn't so um, why are there people punting? It's literally raining. I have been back for like an hour and a half-ish, probably more like two hours, and I've done nothing. I'm so tired, I could literally take a nap, but like this sedgy thing has to be done and I've got to do PBL and I've got to do this essay, so basically no nap time for me. Someone asked me to sub in for the outing tomorrow and I agreed but now I'm regretting it because it's quarter to six that I have to wake up and I literally I'm just so shattered and I still need to take a shower and it's half twelve and I've done no work I've been watching stuff with my friend which I said I need to stop doing but like here I am again like honestly I'm, I'm gonna stop like it's gonna stop it will. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to have to do the searchy thing in the morning to get that sent off. And then I'm going to do my fab essay in the evening. And honestly, like, I did message him on WhatsApp because we have our supervision group and our supervisors in it. Um, so, like, I messaged asking when it was due and he didn't reply. So, like, I'm not handing it in today. Like, I actually messaged and he saw it because I can see who's seen my messages and he hasn't replied. So like, in all honesty, I don't really care. Like if he doesn't have time to reply to my message, which he replied to my friend's message, which she messaged today, then like, I'm gonna have my essay in whenever because it's not due, like we don't have a super till Thursday. So I'm just gonna do it tomorrow instead. And yeah, that is the current situation. So I can't believe that I'm gonna be sleep deprived again. I've been to rowing today already. Um, I got very little sleep, so that was not a good idea, but the outing itself was like actually very good. Like it was very enjoyable and like fun. Um, and like it wasn't raining, I didn't get soaked. Um, it was like actually quite warmish, like it was a good temperature um, and yeah, basically it was a good outing um, but I was just so tired and I came back and oh, just so, 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 so tired. I just want to go to sleep but I have, like I had to miss my lecture because I've got to do this sexy thing. And I thought I could get it done faster, but obviously, like, I literally took a nap at my desk, so... I'm on my camera, which is so weird because this has been, like, out of charge and full memory for so long. Um, but basically, it's now quarter past two. I have until, like, three. 
um, to get this search thing done and handed in. I didn't actually finish like reading and highlighting, I kind of just skimmed the last bit. But then I started on the essay plan and actually like I'm having a decent time to be honest. I forgot like how much I actually enjoyed ethics, not like the weird side, like um, what we were doing before, like stigma, um, all that kind of stuff. Like I like proper meaty ethics, like euthanasia, um, abortion, like that kind of stuff where I can like argue different points and like I actually know what's going on and like I just find it really interesting and I remembered that I read this book like short introduction to medical ethics and like the essay plan that I'm currently writing has some stuff to do with that and like I'm just having a decent time is all I came here to say um for once I'm not absolutely wanting to die inside doing work still don't really want to be doing this but you know it's better than writing an anatomy essay so yesterday we went to well you see we came back um from the isbem super and literally all i was supposed to do was go to sainsbury's i was gonna go straight after um but my friend forgot her purse so we had to go all the way back and then i scanned some stuff like some notes for her and sent them over um and then she was like hey, why don't we go to Franco Manca's, which is like a pizza place here in Cambridge. I don't know whether it's like a chain thing. Um, and I was like, do you know what? Actually, that sounds like a brilliant idea. Um, and then we got one of our other friends and we all went to get pizza. And it took forever and it was really bad. Um, all I really wanted to do was go to Sainsbury's that evening, but hey-ho. Um, the pizza's so good there though, so... I guess that makes up for it. I have a contact lenses appointment at 10 past 11, which I really can't be asked going to, but at the same time I want contact lenses, so yeah. Or at least to try them to see if I can actually wear them, because my dad wears them, but my mum can't, so yeah. After the contact lenses thing, I have like a bit of time, and then I have a home lecture, which I'm going to for sure, um, and then... After that, I have nothing else for the rest of the day. Um, I'm going to go to the boathouse at around like five-ish um, to do an erg, even though I feel shit. But like, I want to get to the boathouse most days this week, just because I feel like at the very least it's good exercise and like it's not going to harm anyone. I need to leave like basically now, but basically... Here I am, um, ready to go to rowing. Honestly, like, overall, rowing is so fun and, like, I really enjoy it. But it's times like these in the morning where I seriously consider why the hell I do this. Like, I am so tired and I had such a bad night's sleep. I was supposed to go to sleep before 11 and then my friend called and somehow we had a 50-minute phone call and I had the worst night's sleep ever like I kept waking up I literally had to get a strepsil at like 3 a.m. because I just kept coughing like it was just not fun and today like the worst days are the days where I know I have so much to do and I have to like get an essay done because there's a deadline or something today is um Wednesday I don't know whether I filmed today maybe I did before the outing actually but yeah, I had an outing this morning. Honestly, the amount of sleep that I've been getting recently is appalling. Just you wait. Um, and then I... Oh, I would have been late to my lecture, so I just didn't go. Again, stupidly. Um, then I had a home practical. Then we went to get food and we literally sat in Pizza Hut for two hours before our applied anatomy session and then after that basically my friend dragged me to get crepes crepes however you say it um i didn't get one but still went there for some reason then i have done my bit of the presentation for the powerpoint for um the mims pbl thing that we have on friday um and now i am about to start an essay which is due tomorrow and it is now 10 to 12.
So that's freaking brilliant. Um, literally, like, I have no idea what's going on. Like, at least in the other essays that I was doing, I had some vague idea of um, what was happening because I had already read through the notes. Like, I'd highlighted it was good. Like, I could just basically type it all out. Whereas this one, I have absolutely no idea what is going on. The title is so long-winded and it's just going to take me forever. And I literally just need sleep. But tomorrow morning, I have rowing. Like, granted, it's ergs, so I really don't actually have to go. But s what was I going to say? Given, that was the word um that i booked the herbs myself i feel like i should actually go hi so i thought that i would vlog this momentous occasion because it's finally happened it was probably gonna happen eventually but it is my first all-nighter at uni it's just not it's just this is the worst day to do that um basically it's 5 a.m i'm not i'm not finished i literally it's now significantly later, as you can tell. It's such a beautiful day, like, look at the sky. It's completely blue, um, and it's so sunny and it's so beautiful, but I can feel myself going like, oh, no, no, no. So basically, went to rowing. I actually, like, did the whole thing. Halfway to the boathouse, I was like, actually, I want to go home now. Um, then I was like, I'll get to the boathouse and just sit there and have a little nap um, and then I was like do you know what actually like I'll try and do the first lot, <clears throat> lot of 12 minutes um, and like if I can't do it then whatever and like I'll just leave it at that and then oh, I got there and I was like do you know what I may as well like my college mum was there cute um, and her friend as well and basically we were the only ones doing the ergs. doing so well it was all going so well like I sat through Sechi I was like on it I knew what was going on I was completely alert it was all great I got into the MIM supervision literally like I my eyes were shutting whilst I was writing hey guys so I have no idea when I last vlogged um like zero clue like I don't think I vlogged at all yesterday, so recap of yesterday, if I can remember. <laughs> so obviously I slept in a bit because I was absolutely knackered. Then I went to my MIMS PBL presentation where I proceeded to cough through the entire thing. No one went to HOM, like the lecture, so then I didn't go, but now like I regret my life choices and I'm just gonna go to lectures when there are lectures even though like loads of people from my college aren't going like I just need to stop looking at what other people are doing um and then we had a home supervision that afternoon at like quarter to two spent all that coughing um and after that me and my friend actually we went to like a park by the river and we went to a pub and we ate some food and we just like sat there and like enjoyed the sun because it was so nice yesterday. I had to wake up at six because we had a race. We had to be at the boathouse at seven. Um, so did that. Um, and so I'm normally in W3, like the third women's boat. Um, I was doing races today for W3 and W2 because I was subbing into their boat. W3, we had the division before them. We actually, like, this is the first time I've won a race, like, with me in the boat. Um, so we won our first race. Um, it was really, like, it was really good because I didn't, I might insert a video somewhere, um, but basically we started off really badly um and then we literally just caught up so well um so yeah and then the second race because it was a regatta so side by side boats um then the second race we 
were a bit less confident because it was against a boat club that usually is like very very good um but we won that one even more easily like it was brilliant um we were so far ahead of them for like basically the vast majority of the race and then we got to the final um against Downing College and we lost that yeah like Oh well, you know, we are second in the division anyway, so who cares? And then the second women's division, we were against Keys, and they just, they have, their boat club's crazy. At the moment, they're like really, really, really on it. So we lost. I have made myself, where is it? <laughs> Noodles. Like, I was just like, no, I need to cook. I'm gonna proceed to eat my food now, so see you later. Mm -hmm.